Welcome everybody back to Boost in Motion, guys. And today I gotta talk about something that's been happening in this VQ VR platform for the longest. And I never really made a video talking about it. So this is the dedicated video. You guys want a better transmission on your VQ? Let's jump into a VR trans. Hit that intro. Welcome everybody back to Boost in Motion, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Thank you. Welcome everybody back. Welcome everybody back to the channel. So let's just jump right into it, guys. I'm not going to make you guys wait too long, too much more longer. So if you already hit the subscribe to this channel, I already know you guys hit the like button. If you're new to this channel, that means you're going to watch this video. If you enjoy that content, you're going to hit the subscribe button also too and hit that bell notification. And plus, hopefully, I earn your like. Anyways, so if you have been in this world of the VQ forever and you have a seven speed automatic G37, 370Z, can't really know if this applies to other seven speeds, but it should apply to any other seven speed in the Nissan Infinity community, right? So if you guys don't know, if you've been under a rock, the VR transmission that comes in from the 2018 and up to 50s and the 2017 up to 60s is the better transmission. Even though they're both seven speed, the um, VR transmission shifts firmer, quicker, not historically quicker, but it is a better transmission. But mainly... They build it to be a lot stronger, so it takes a lot more torque. If you guys ever want to go the performance-oriented way with a supercharger or blower, or even nitrous, and you have a lot of pounds of torque, the OEM regular 7-speed transmission uh, from the 20, 2008 to like 20, 30, 2015, that transmission, right around 450 foot-pounds of torque, it will start crapping out. It will start slipping, and that will be it. You would have to get a built transmission. One way to not spend $6,000, well, buy a VR transmission. There's plenty of Q50s clapped up in the salvage yard. And a shout to Yuyu, a day, which also just quickly talked about swapping it in. This has always been a modification in this platform the last two to three years. Shout out to Infinity Brothers. He had swapped a seven speed, I believe a seven speed, into his G30, uh, G37 that is supercharged sometime back on his channel. And a lot of people have been doing this in this platform for quite a long time. It's just that I guess no one really just brought it to light. So I'm going to bring it to light, right? So if you guys have any problems with your transmission, your seven-speed automatic, and you don't have the VR transmission, this is a way more affordable, cheap cost, a uh, cheap repair rather than going repairing your old transmission for like three, four grand. When you get these transmissions from eight to 1500 maybe $2,000 in a junkyard. Anyways, total cost was under a fifteen hundred dollars. Twenty uh Q fifty three point seven with VR transmission swap. Transmission is stronger, can hold more torque. Five hundred some. The shifting is quicker and smoother. This is a must. Uh, drivetrain upgrade for high power supercharger turbo VQs. I know that all the details you pay attention in order to swap to save money. I didn't use the one piece aluminum or or carbon fiber drive shaft like others. You can do this in your garage six to eight hours tops. Cool. So. Uh, also, I believe Eric Flores did the same thing in his supercharged um, Q50. All right. So take a look. They have both two of the different transmissions. Guess which one is the VR transmission? And it's not the one on the right. <laughs> All right. Cool. You see the two different transmissions. You can see some of the bell housings and stuff like that. They show you the TCM. This is the TCM unit that pretty much... or I, Pretty much which controller there TCM slash valve body. I could be correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. You have to reuse the VQ37 TCO. You can use the you can use the new VR30 valve body. Sorry, so the difference. You replace the, the TCM stays the same, but the valve body is different. Cool. All right. Drill a hole for the crank position sensor. So pretty much this sensor is pretty much what reads when it spins. The newer transmission doesn't have that on the OVQ, so you have to drill it just for that specific sensor, all right? And the VQ37 torque converter has a shorter drive, uh, short, short drive hub. Cut the VR torque converters 
um, drive hub to make it the same length of the VQ. This is simple stuff to do, guys. You guys may think, oh, this is Jimmy rigging it. People have been doing this stuff, and it works. Maybe this might not be the cleanest install from what you can see, but it actually works because plenty of people will do it. And the VR card trans drive shaft is about um, half inch shorter. See, if you take a look, v, uh, VR 30 drive shaft, and boom, cheaper, cheapest way is to use eBay, use drive shaft, a VR 30 drive shaft. You can get these drive shafts all over the place, man. These parts are cheap, guys. It's nothing crazy to get these drive shafts. And modify the stock transmission brace. Both the VR and the VQ transmission more mounts will work. And that is all. Now, of course, there's some labor time that's involved. Of course, you have to do all that stuff. I get it. But once everything is done here, it's and it works. Plenty of people have done this. Now, I'm not saying follow only him. Look up Infinity Brothers. Look up, um, just look up VR30 transmission swap on G37, 370Z. Plenty of people have done it. I don't, I don't remember seeing any de detailed videos, like detail, not as much as Infinity Brothers, but the information's out there. So pretty much if you have a Q50, G37, or 370Z with the 7-speed automatic, this is your upgrade if you're knowing that you want to go the performance route. Plus, you get a better better transmission that shifts better and more fresher transmission. It is what it is with less miles on it. And you can get these transmissions for cheap because... They're not something that goes out often. Like, no one goes to the junkyard and be like, oh, my God, I need a transmission. No, that's not a common thing. You'll go to the junkyard and be like, I need motor, I need turbos, but way more than you see transmission. So the prices of them will be a lot lower. So if you know that you're already supercharged or turbo or an automatic, this is what you do, period. Um, shout to this man. He, he, he was the one that actually uh, I showed with the whole carbon buildup. If you guys might have saw that video, hopefully I put the link up above about the carbon buildup and walnut blasting everything. Seems like the shop or wherever he's at, they do a lot of work. They even did like a VR30 swap in uh, uh, the old Q50, the 2014 to 2015. So they actually put the right motor in in the right car, but it was just that it was powered by 3.7, not the VR30. Super dope. I don't think I'm going to make a video about it because he doesn't really have much detail details to talk about it but i don't think it'll be too too hard you know nonetheless but outside that guys you already know what to do hit me up at boost motion at g facebook and boost motion gmail.com thank you guys for always supporting the channel and giving your boys both so much love and appreciative of you guys just always being there for me much love but anyways outside of that you already know what to do please i hopefully i earned that like button so hit me up at boost motion on g facebook and boost motion gmail.com just in case i didn't say it but i think i did Anyway, guys, appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Do appreciate you guys. Love you guys very much. You can also check out the two links I posted for some of my other videos. Also, on top of that, if you want to purchase some Boost in Motion merch, definitely check the link that I posted also. And finally, if you've been watching all my videos and you enjoy them, please hit the link for to subscribe to my YouTube.